looks like it's a job for Bron. Foolish Autobots, you face the might of the strongest Decepticon. And I might not look it, but I'm the strongest Autobot there is. Braun Pond. Nighty night, princess. Hello and welcome back after a very long hiatus to Nexus Reviews and today we're looking at Studio Series 86 Brawn. Due to being an SS86 figure, any relations to an actual Regal Worlds vehicle are completely out the window. As such, it really does its best to not look like anything you'd see on the road. And boy howdy does it succeed because that's how many headlights? Yikes. Much akin to G1 fashion, there is a giant Autobot logo just pasted on the hood. Because nothing says robots in the skies like telling your enemy exactly what you are. Due to how the transformation works, the side of the car where a door is supposed to be... It's, it's completely unhinged, and when I say unhinged, I mean it's, not, it's, it's nothing but hinges. <laughs> yeah... Um, there's no door here. How are you supposed to get into this thing? The back tries somewhat, having a rarely seen rear windshield washer and a flap to cover up what would otherwise be a very big gap. But yeah, that's pretty much it. No taillights or exhaust pipes or anything. Also, the back window is completely unpainted. Size comparison? Legacy Beachcomber, which feels really off for the kind of vehicle this is trying to emulate. Power of the Prime Speechcomber, which, yeah, that, that feels like it works better. The other Studio Series Brawn, and yeah, at least this one is a lot more cohesive looking. And APC Toys, knockoff, uh, Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. Uh, the Prime, I feel, scales the best with this one. And also, uh, also I just kind of wanted to animate it. And now, to surely break a few hearts, unfortunately, he doesn't fit into the most recent Optimus Prime trailer. I'm sure someone is absolutely devastated. Accessories. The spare tire is removable, which... I, I guess I can see a use for, for the vehicle mode at least, you can pre pretend like you're swapping out the tire. And he also has a gun. Both of which just peg into the top of the vehicle mode. But unlike most weapon storage, this actually looks kind of convincing, like some kind of military truck thing. Like it actually looks like a gun emplacement put on top of the vehicle on purpose. Robot mode. I've always been a fan of Bronze color scheme. The majority green has been swapped out for the yellow, and there's been some silver accents added. It's a lot more interesting than a lot of the uh, usual G1 color schemes, I think. Now, this isn't a complaint, but the surface level detailing on all of the parts on him feel out of place with a lot of the recent Studio Series 86 offerings, which have gone more for the completely flat, cartoon-accurate aesthetic, with very minimal detailing. Again, not a complaint, but it's weird that it's like this. I like how the sides of the vehicle are used to make some pretty sturdy-looking legs. It's also pretty satisfying to see how the wheels of the vehicle end up perfectly aligned on the back of the legs. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I have been pretty vocal about how I dislike the concept of inside-out engineering, but this is due to the fact that it's usually done to completely and utterly hide away the vehicle mode, rather than actually use those parts in order to make up the robot mode. However, here, 
While it is doing that, you can still tell what parts of the vehicle mode these came from. So that's why I like it. Of course, it wouldn't be Braun without his signature kinda ugly head, I guess. And, um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's Braun's head. You did it! Yay! However, if I were to say one really big thing about this robot mode in a negative light, it's... That backpack! What? So, this whole discourse on Transformers backpacks is kind of stupid, because something like this will get a pass. But when it comes to something like this, or this, and, yes, even this, they don't get a pass. Huh? And now, I actually usually don't mind backpacks on figures, but considering this is a Generation 1 style figure, I feel like this could have at least felt more cohesive. It's hard to display in stop motion, but it doesn't really feel good or complete when you just kind of shove it up there a little bit. It's also got this mysterious port of purpose I genuinely can't figure out. If this is going to be something for something coming in the future, then okay, but I'm, I'm genuinely just scratching my head here. Now you might be shocked to hear this, but Braun can hold his gun in robot mode. See? I wasn't lying. He also still has his spare tire, which is 5mm compatible on both its top and bottom, which means he can hold it. And, um... You're not really sure what it can be done with in robot mode. Uh, unless... Dear God, evil fusion. Articulation-wise, he's got pretty much everything you expect. Actually, holy crap, that's a good elbow bend. Why don't we get elbows like that more? But, as we go from superb elbows, we come down to the knees and see... My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Robot mode size comparisons? The other Studio Series Braun, and well, this really just goes to show you that all the Bumblebee one is, is the G1 one, but so round that it can't be put into a cohesive vehicle mode shape. Because I guess they just didn't want to, like... <sighs> I feel bad for the Studio Series designers when they were told to make up vehicle modes for these designs, because... Yikes. Legacy Life's a Beachcomber. And big boy, APC Toys, Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. He was fun to animate, guys. Overall, I think Transformers Studio Series 86 Braun is kind of just okay. But he's got a pretty fun transformation that I did like animating, at least. So... I think sometimes it is okay to just be okay. I don't know. He's kind of just mid, I guess. Greetings. My name is Optimus Prime. I bring you this message to say that I hope you enjoyed this video by Nexus 8846 Productions. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and to subscribe with notifications on to let us know you did, and to keep up to date on future awesome content. And until next time, my fellow Autobots, transform and roll out!